Hi guys, it's Miss Jen. Are you ready to do some singing? Get up on your feet, let's sing some songs. Ready, set, go!
Hi, I'm Mr. Tom. I'm so glad you're here with me today. We have heard some amazing stories about some of the things Jesus did, like heal people and walked on water. I wonder what we'll learn about today. Mail truck, let's go see what we got. What is this thing? You're right, it's a boat. We had this same clue and it was about Jesus walking on water. So I bet our story has something to do with Jesus in a boat. Let's listen and find out. This is Jesus. One day, Jesus was talking to a lot of people. He told them stories and taught them about God. By the end of the day, he was pretty tired. He and his friends got into a boat to cross the lake. Jesus took the opportunity to take a nap. But as he slept, a big storm came up. There was scary lightning and thunder, and the waves got big and rough. Jesus' friends were scared. They thought they were gonna die. But Jesus was still sleeping. The disciples decided to wake him up. When they did, Jesus said, Why are you frightened? Please trust me today. Jesus went up on deck, looked at the storm and waves, and told them, Quiet! Be still! Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. The disciples were so amazed. The wind and the waves obeyed Jesus. Wow, what an amazing story. Jesus is so powerful. He told the storm to stop and it stopped. Do you know who would love to hear this story? You're right, our silly monkey friend Cecil. I'll get on my computer and we'll have a video chat with him. Cecil, hey Cecil. Hey Mr. Tom. Hi Cecil, I'm glad you're here with us today. We have another amazing story about how powerful Jesus is. The stories we've already heard are incredible. I can't wait to hear what today's story is all about. Well, Jesus was on a boat with his friends, the disciples. He was really tired, so he decided to sleep. And while he was sleeping, a big storm came up with lightning and thunder and huge waves. I bet they were scared. Storms wake me up. I bet it woke Jesus up too. No, he kept sleeping. But his friends were so scared, and they woke him up. Then Jesus told the storm to be quiet. Did the storm go away? You bet it did. Jesus is so powerful, even the storm and the waves obeyed him. I know he is powerful, and I know he is with me and will help me if I'm scared during a storm. Exactly. I will have to remember that next time I'm scared. Well, it is good to remember that Jesus is so powerful. And we know it's true because it tells us so. In the Bible! You got it, monkey man. Will you have another story?
story of Dark Jesus next week? Guaranteed. We'll tell you all about it. Well, let's say goodbye to Cecil. It was fun to see Cecil again, and to share our story with him. You know, I sure do love learning with him. Oh, and with you. But we have a new Bible verse. It's Matthew 19, 26. With God, everything is possible. Now you say it with me and I'll show you the motions. You ready? Get your Bible out. Matthew 19, 26. With God, everything is possible. Let's do it again. Get your Bible out. Matthew 19, 26. With God, everything is possible great job. Well, how should we say it fun this week? Hmm. Let's see. Jesus and his friends were out in a boat in water. Hmm. What's out in the water? You're right. Fish. Can you be like a fish? That's kind of hard. to. I don't think I could talk that way. So how about if we act like a fish with gills. Can you get your gills? Be a fish? You ready? Matthew 1926. With God, everything is possible. Great job. Well, let's say a prayer before we go. Do you remember how we get it started? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Fold them in your lap. Now I'll say a part and then you say it. Ready? Dear God, Thank you for the Bible and for the story of Jesus calming the storm. Help us remember nothing is impossible with you because you are so powerful. We love you. Amen. Great job. Now don't forget to come back next week because we'll have another great story. Have a great week. Bye.